I need to open 10 already. No, don't open 10. <laughs> Was it Fred? Fred! Oh, naughty little Fred! Fred! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and good morning, everyone. <laughs> Starting today off with a bang. <laughs> oh my gosh, crazy girl. Wow, it's not every day, Mom. I wasn't too concentrated, and I was I like, did. "Hello, good morning, everyone." <laughs> Is it gonna go? Is it not? But you did it. So you guys, number one thing, we are still working on orders. I wanted to show you the TIHWB. This is how we bingham logoed cap. Bam! I love it. I love it too. I absolutely love it. So I'm wearing that today. Check it out on this is how we bingham.com. Snag them up. But uh, you guys, you might have seen in yesterday's video that I'm thinking about getting new countertops. We've thought about getting new floors. But first item of business, and probably what started most of this, is our cabinets. We love our cabinets. And you might not be able to tell through the video, but this portion of our cabinets is turning yellow. I don't know if you can tell in real life. Compared it's very to bad. that, it is very different. That's bright white, and it's kind of just circulating above microwave and oven. I didn't really think it was super noticeable, but when the guy was at our house yesterday trying to give me a quote, he said, oh, your cabinets are turning yellow. And I was like, dang it. Crap. <laughs> We've had our cabinets done for one year in like two weeks. It's not been very long. So he's gonna come look at him and tell me what's wrong. Initially on the phone, he's like, oh yeah, it's, it's totally sun damage. I'm like, well, if it was sun damage, those would be yellow, not this. I think it's from cooking. No more cooking? So the only solution is to stop cooking. No. I know. <laughs> I know, honey. I'm sorry. I'll do or it. Or move. Oh my gosh. Christmas wish list 2019. New home. <laughs> Christmas wish list 2020 20 or 2021? 20, 21. 21. Got the kids home from school. Pretty gloomy day here today. But you guys, I have to tell you, I'm trying out this new toy I just got. This is an ice machine. I got it off of Amazon. It went on sale. It's something I've had my eyes on for a long time. Went on sale. It's a pebble ice machine. Those of you that might be familiar with Sonic or any of those fun drink places, I like that ice in my drinks. I don't know why. Why is it an obsession? Why do people love this? I ordered one because it went on a better deal this last weekend for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. It came and I'm very excited to try it. It's supposed to make 24 pounds of ice in one day. I'm like, okay, that might be a little overkill. I don't need that much ice. I'm ready to give it a shot, ready to try it. I can't wait. I like drinking soda. Here in Utah, there are soda shops everywhere. Fizz, So Delicious, Swig, Straws, all of these drink places. It's a super huge deal in Utah specifically. And I know that they're becoming a little bit more popular in Arizona. The funny part is, is every time we go somewhere, we travel somewhere, I'll go to the gas station. I'm like, they don't even have Diet Dr. Pepper. Brandon's like, he told me, he's like, you would never be able to move because they don't have soda shops anywhere else. Okay, I don't drink that much soda, but I do love to drink soda. In fact, I already went to my local fizz today. I only do that like maybe once or twice a week. But what I did do, I went and bought, this is like a ton of gift cards inside this little bag. So here's the thing with this little guy. I really want him to go, let me show you where. I want him to go in the pantry right here because there is an outlet hiding right there. Perfect place. Problem is this is not big enough. So Brandon's like, well, do we cut out the cabinet a little bit? That is probably not a good idea. But I don't really want it sitting out on my countertops all the time. I'm gonna put it there for the time being to make sure this is something we really wanna do. It's very heavy, but I'm gonna move it over here to this corner and try it out. Got the water in. I just read the directions. I may have put this in a stupid spot because the sink is way over there and I'm supposed to let it run and then I'm supposed to put the cords in the sink and drain out all that water. I did not do that. It is not by the sink. Nonetheless, there's a switch on the back. Oh, you know what? You have to plug it in first. Plugged in. Then it says there's a switch on the back and we're gonna clean it. Yellow light, pulsating. All I hear is the dishwasher. Whoa, doing something down in there. I don't know what. Oh boy. This doesn't make you need to go to the bathroom. Is that cool? Yay! It was all drained. So now I'm gonna fill it back up. Let's see some ice being made. I know this is like the silliest gift ever, you guys, but it is something I've been wanting for a long time. And so I was like, I'm gonna order it for Christmas. Brandon was supposed to get it for me, but then we found it on a deal, so I got it sooner. We go through a lot of ice here, and so I think it would even be fun for the kids to have the pebble ice. This is just one of those silly things that I just wanted. All right, water's in. Let's see what it does. <gasps> doing something. Pulling water up. Says it'll have ice in about 15 minutes. I'm sure you're all just dying to see it. I will show you, don't you worry. So it's on nights like these that I don't have anything to cook. Well, hi dad. New litter box for Lazzy. It's time. We got a new one that had like this self-cleaning system that we thought would be really cool, but it just didn't work. So going back to the traditional. Big dog igloo. Will you tell us what inspired your outfit today? Huawei. Huawei. She's wearing a pineapple shirt and a really fun flowered skirt. Now, does Hazy dress herself most days? No. I want bread. Okay. As I was beginning to say, when I don't have anything else thought out dinner to cook, what I always do, what I always turn to is breakfast. Getting out our eggs from Costco. We buy the big thing of Costco eggs. Just gonna make some eggs and toast. I have some bacon in the freezer that I could put in the oven. I'm kind of pressed for time because I have to leave tonight. I'm going to another wreath making class. My sister-in-law, Lindsay, wanted to do a 
wreath making class. She wasn't here while I did my last one and I was like, I'm not opposed to doing two. I'm gonna make a second one. So this should be really fun tonight. I'm gonna make a quick dinner for the kids before I leave. Also, I probably will eat this too because I'm really trying hard to be good. Easy meals. Eggs definitely does it. And even still doing those freezer meals, I'm like, oh my gosh, I did not plan ahead. How? How is that possible? That's just how it goes. I just heard some ice drop. Hoping there's more coming. I keep trying to catch up falling. I can hear little pieces and then I walk away and then it falls again. Just little teeny tiny pieces of ice. Breakfast for dinner tonight. Is that the front door? <gasps> oh my gosh. Hazy, what is this? Oh my gosh. What? You guys. What? Oh, don't touch don't him, don't touch him. Be careful, Hazy, you, can't, you touch can't touch him. Oh, Only I mean, you can touch it. the box, but you can't touch him. You guys, wait, what is with what? Lego advent calendars? I forgot about those. And Hazy, oh. this is a friend when Lego friends. Oh my gosh. Best friends forever. You guys, I completely forgot about advent calendars. I'm a little excited. Wait a second. What? We have five to catch up to. We are five days oh. behind. We have five Lego advents to build. Well, maybe Fred knew that we got a little bit of a late start. Oh my gosh, you guys, there he is. Right guy, you yes. knew he would Come. He's still snow on him. Oh, he probably oh, came he from the probably North came Pole from where the it's North snowing. Pole. Dude, you knew he would come. You said he would yesterday. I think we got into bed too late. Advent <sighs> calendars. Lego. That's our favorite, oh like, tradition. Gosh. Okay, this one looks a little different. Like, what is that thing? Wait, that's a snow catapult. A snatapult. Oh my gosh. A snow A snatapult. <laughs> You're the best at making up words. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Let's go some more agrotainment. Here we go. Yeah. Agrotainment. <laughs> I wonder if they like, only met, like, do this with Shoot, you guys. Mama's off to her second wreath making class. Getting pretty good at this. Where should we put these? Let's set these up here, dude. Let's bring Fred in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Fred is back in the house, soon to be on the shelf. Let's just set him up somewhere. Like right there. That's good for now. This is incredible. As you guys know, if you've been with us for a while, Fred, our elf on the shelf, usually comes when we finish setting up Christmas. And last night, we finished the last touches of Christmas. The kids were a little bit bummed that he didn't show up last night. We were pretty sure we'd get the little bing bong knock at the door. This time, he just tripped the sensor. He didn't even ring the doorbell. But you guys, Fred is here. He's in the house. And he came bearing gifts, you guys. This time, he brought Lego advent calendars. This is one of our favorite traditions we of the Christmas love season. love the Lego advent calendars. One of our subscribers sent them to us yes. one year. That's how we got started on it. And then last year, my mom just knew how much the kids loved him. She bought him for him. And this year, I totally missed it. Didn't even think about it. And boom, Elf on the Shelf shows up at our house. Very different. So it's very different. Rexy says, dude, look at it. Let me see that. So guys, if you're not familiar with these, they're very cool. So if you know the traditional advent calendars with a piece of chocolate inside of each date of the month of December leading up to Christmas, this is the same idea. But you open up a little window or a little door with the date on it. And then go ahead and show them what it is, Rexy. Doodle. You take it out and there's a mini figure, a mini something, part of a snowy scene, a winter wonderland scene. Oh, this is Blower. So boom, gives you the instructions right there on the window, all the pieces you need, and then you make an amazing North Pole type scene every day, piece by piece. So he's making a snowblower, first piece out of the gates. And then at the end of the month, you've got a fully built like North Pole type scene with an ice skating rink, a Santa. I mean, it looks like you're gonna have a snowblower, you got a bunch of little mini figs, yeah, snowmen. So much fun stuff. And then Hazy gets her own special one. I love this. I am so glad that Fred yeah, to do this. Last year she made ones that were ornaments. Or is this ornaments? Hers looks different last year, is so it? this one looks a little bit different. Maybe there are ornaments again, but I remember one year she had like Olaf's. It was a bunch of little Olaf's. Was that last year? I'm so That confused. was two years ago, I think. And then this one, she made a bunch of ornaments from these Lego friends. This is gonna be so much fun. So Hazy's got her own special version. Yes, but we gotta find number one and guys here's the best part because we are already five days into December you guys We get to do five Lego advents today you guys five of them So you're gonna start off with five things on your thing now I gotta say mom last year did not love when we put them over here and now as you can see She's filled up the spot with an ice maker So if maybe she knew this was gonna happen. She's gonna try to take that spot I up. did not know it was gonna happen. <laughs> I don't really want it there either I don't think we're gonna put the advent calendars over here this year kids are saying maybe in their room It's just a matter of keeping track of the pieces through the entire month Are we gonna be able to do that? Are we gonna be able to keep all the little minifigure pieces? in one collection because if you do it right and you get to the end of the month it's really really fun to see that come together as you build out your scene and each kid kind of puts it together differently one of our favorite traditions up on the shelf showing up with some lego advent calendars it is christmas it is december it's going down that's how we bring them
All right, guys, on number two over here, you guys, we got number two. What is number two, right, guys? It is a, like, catapult thingy. Oh, like a snow thrower, or, like, yeah. do you make a snowball yeah. and you chuck it? Oh, it's a snatapult. I don't like oh, snatapult. That sounds weird. Because I like no, snow catapult. Weird. Snow to pult? I like snow pult. I don't know. Basically, a chuck snow. Snow yeah. thrower. Snow yeah, chucker. Yeah, chuck snower. Ready? Yeah. Show you what the pink one on the bottom. What are you making for your first one, Hazy? Does it show you? It looks like a, a heart, heart, heart with a poinsettia on it. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna put the big poinsettia. purple one right here. Like poinsettia. Poinsettia. Oh, like your poinsettia. She made a poinsettia. Yeah. Two down, two in the books. We're on number three now. Moving on to number three. Oh, mini fig. I don't know why I get so excited when it's a mini fig because every time it's like a different guy. At one point, it's gonna be Santa, you guys. One of the mini figs is Santa. That is a guarantee. I, I bet can his see him is right gonna there. be. The oh, it's number four. It's Probably number four. Number four? You literally, think I it's literally no. on Santa Claus. Oh, that would be so, I feel like it's gotta be way closer to the end of the season. Like, I mean, the end of the month. Like, oh, towards 24th, 25th. On the 24th or the 25th, it's so cool. It's like a sleigh in Santa Claus. Oh, that's right, because that's when he comes. And so it's like he comes in the calendar then. Okay, that makes sense, Kruber. Let me see this guy. Let me see your little guy. Oh, you guys, this one is a fun one. That's a Can't cool one. Can't figure it out. Hazy, what is your number two? It's a boom box. A boom box for playing jams? Yeah, look, Dad. Oh, do you know what that's for? That's for playing sick beats after some Christmas oh, music. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Okay, I gotta go. Another thing that I love when we're doing these is inevitably somebody will get ahead of somebody else and I love when the brothers chip in, help each other out. Here we do coming over to see if Brexy needs some help with his ride. I already helped him build his number one. So together they've helped Brexy doodle with his. I already finished my number one. And now Ryan's over here helping Hazy. I love this, you guys. I love it. This is also something that we try and do every day in the vlogs. We try and show you guys what the new piece is. A lot of people look forward to that. Look forward to seeing what each new day brings. And so we will try and remember each day. Sometimes we get a little behind in showing you. Sometimes we even like forget maybe to open them. But the kids like to stack them up and then do three at a time or something like that. We will try and always show you guys. So look forward to that when we open up a new piece, a new day. Show you the new piece in this Lego calendar set. What are you on, number four? Four. Okay, number four. Here's <gasps> you're almost caught up for real time. What's four? There. Look. Wait, what is like, a nice use the oh. catapult to go through this. So this is the other part of the catapult, so you yeah. can like, throw it through. So I think and this is like a fortress. I feel like Hades is like even more difficult. The other kids mm -hmm. come with fewer pieces. There's like a lot of very I, tiny pieces. You oh, really need to like, help with this. Oh, they don't open 10 already. No, don't open 10. Dad, somebody else did. Was it Braxy? No, it was her. Was it Fred? <gasps> Fred! Oh, naughty little Fred! Fred! <laughs> 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 Find number five. This will get us caught up with today. Okay. Today is the fifth. Go ahead and open the fifth on the count of three. One, two, three. Open it. It's a pile of bricks. I mean, pile of wooden. Uh, That's a pile of bricks. Hazy, what's your number five? It's Oh, it's a mini fig girl! Dad, Look at her, she's so that's, cute! That's, that's your number five. I love it. Let's build her. Um, Dad, can you open it? Number five, maybe not your favorite one in the calendar, but you guys, it doesn't really matter because tomorrow you get to open number six, and that could be totally boss. How do you know? I have no idea. Hazy just built this one all by herself. Hazy just made this little mini fig all by herself. Hazel, I'm so proud of you. You little Lego builder, little master builder. All right, guys, building a scene over here. I love it. What do you think? Where should we keep them this year? I think in our rooms. Want to keep them in your rooms? Yeah. I think that'd be cool. But will you guys keep track of the pieces in your room? That's what I'm worried about. My dresser is very dirty. I have an idea for tonight uh, so the mom can see them all finished on display. Let's put them right here and then we'll just set them out. And I kind of like last year when we would just all line up at this table and build them like all in a row together. It's kind of cute. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if mom wants to do that or not. But for tonight, let's set them up over here in your little, uh, get your scene start being built. And then when mom comes home, we'll show her all the stuff that you guys got. She might not be home till kind of late, you guys. She went and made another wreath tonight. Only go to number five. That's the hard part is being done. We're done now. We got to wait till tomorrow. And then tomorrow you get to do number six, okay? So one thing mom's good about is putting our names on stuff. So let's write our names on each one like an R, K, B, and an H. For Hazy, we know Hazy because she's a princess. <laughs> Look at mine. Oh, I love it. Rather crew Brex, you guys can start making your scenes. Oh, I love what you've done here. Raga, yes, he's out there on the ice. So we've got our snowblower. These Got already have stencils for where to put them. Oh, so you know, oh, that's actually very cool. So it's like it helps you this design the scene and make the most of the space. This guy fell on his face. Oops, sorry, bro. <laughs> You're freezing, bro. I wonder what goes there. It's like a helicopter landing pad or something. Oh, yeah. So it's like spinny thing. Wait, on this one, they've got a snow dog on a roof. That's yeah. Cool. That's pretty cool. That's Santa's This is an extreme one. Hazy girl, let's find a place for yours too. Guys, I love them. Mom's gonna love them. Fred's gonna love them. 
album. Boom, Fred, nice job. You've been having fun in the ice. Then guys, if you are unfamiliar with the magic of the elf on the shelf, we're just gonna set Fred right here and then at some point tonight he will get out, he'll hide somewhere in the house or doesn't necessarily hide, he just goes somewhere. And then as elf magic goes, he can't be touched. I don't know what happens, bad things happen, we just know you can't touch him. And every night he goes back to the North Pole and reports on how everyone is behaving here in the house, naughty or nice. And then if it's been a really bad day, sometimes he doesn't come back that next morning. It's kind of a warning to get back on good behavior. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets out of this box and where he ends up tomorrow morning. That's kind of our favorite thing is to see where he is that first morning as we come down and go look for him. Speaking of finding random people in random places, I think this guy just thinks he owns the joint. Hey Laz, are you just enjoying that middle bar of the table there? Meanwhile, we got the pebble ice maker kicking out some ice. Mom absolutely loves that. Very excited for her and her Christmas gift there coming a little bit early. And then another one of our Christmas gifts, we've actually gone and picked up some flooring samples, you guys. We will dive into this I a little like bit more. I like this floor better. You like that this one? This one's just too like, you know, like bumpy. This one's like too like, this one's just fine. So that's the one. Okay, it's like, it's like a three. Smooth. The Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Like this one's like too bumpy, this one's too rough, and this one's just perfect. We'll dive into this a little bit later, get opinions and stuff like that, which is very preliminarily bringing home some samples to see how we like the way they match up with the cabinets and the carpet. So that is on the horizon as well as some new countertops, kind of doing some remodels to the kitchen here. A lot of great reasons to stick around, stay tuned, follow the progress, keep hanging with us through the holidays, you guys. It only gets bigger and better every day. And you guys make that possible. So thank you guys so much. We love you guys like crazy. Mom, like I said, is off. I'm gonna hang with the kids here, get them going into baths and into bed here in a little bit. But another great tradition checked off tonight as Fred, our elf on the shelf, has arrived. Lego advent calendars have started to be built and the holidays are just fully underway. I just barely got back home. Brandon's upstairs, I think, just finishing up bedtime, which I'm so grateful he did. But I just got home, and look, I hung my wreath right there. This is the wreath I made, and I love it. I temporarily took this down. This is one of my favorite things a follower sent us, and I love it in my kitchen. But I really want mine to stay inside. I know it's not gonna last that long. I don't have another outside door for it to go on. And I really just wanted a pretty wreath in my kitchen, so that's where I put it. Also, look at this. Look how much beautiful ice that is. Oh my gosh, am I the most ridiculous person ever that I'm so excited about this? A few moments. Moments later. I don't know if you can hear me close this vlog over the sound of that ice maker. Yeah, that's kind of something <laughs> I don't like. I waited until we were on camera to say that. It's uh, very loud. Does it turn off? It could be like a noise machine. I'll update machine. you tomorrow. It could honestly be like a subtle so white mom's noise like, type well, it's thing. gonna melt. No, it doesn't. Does it? I don't know. I'm assuming the bottom layer no, melts. It, there's a there's a little dripper system at the bottom. It must keep it frozen. It must. Oh man, otherwise we're gonna have to let it go. So ridiculous. I'm so funny. It's not even funny. Okay, it's so funny. It's not even funny. I even rhymed too. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I'm a lot of things, guys. All right, let's move on. One of them guys, is tired. Let's so, let's talk about the elf in the room. Oh! Mindy. Guys, We're closing I it. The funny. Mic drop. We out. Real quick though, guys. Right. Tradition has Hopefully, it. Hopefully, let's see if this guy gets this out of this box This little guy's gonna tonight. sneak out at some time tonight and go somewhere. Typically, first spot in the Christmas tree. Does he? I feel like that's been his thing. Oh gosh. Who knows? I keep track. I have notes in my phone. <laughs> Smash the like button. Come back tomorrow. The weekend is upon us. It's uh, going to be insane. I love the weekend. I can sleep in. Because the Hawaii movie was so well received, you guys. We're putting together another vacation <sighs> movie for you guys to put out on Sunday. So stick around. Make sure you watch that. It's gonna be fantastic. We'll keep you guys guessing which one that is. You'll have to find out on Sunday. I love you so much. Thanks for hanging with us today and every day. You guys are awesome. We hope that you are enjoying the start to your holidays. We will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh my gosh, Christmas wish list 2019, new home. That's gonna be Quish wish list. Christmas wish list 2020 20 or 2021? 21. 21. 21. I don't really want it sitting out on my out on my cabinet. Or what are these called? Out on my countertops all the time. I have some bacon in the oven. Or oh my gosh. I have some bacon in the freezer that I could put in the oven.